Hello programmers, in today's tutorials we are going to analyze the dangerous coronavirus and this is the complete analysis of coronavirus. Here we are using Python to analyze the data of coronavirus and the data is provided by this website. Before get into tutorials please like this video, comment and subscribe our channel for more updates. Open your notebook, I am using Jupyter notebook for the data analysis, it is very easy for me to do. Analysis in Python. After opening the notebook, you need to import the respective modules. We need to import the pandas modules. That is one of the powerful modules in Python. It is mainly deals with reading the CSV files using Python. In this step, we are going to read the CSV file. CSV file is a data file. In the CSV file contains data of coronavirus. We are using this data to make an analysis. You need to mention the path of the CSV file before reading. Totally we have 2000 plus data is there. Using this data we are going to make an analysis this data is about how many countries get affected by coronavirus and how many deaths that are received and how many cases are recorded this is the data that is present in the csv file After that we are going to analysis the data, we are using Plotly library to visualize the data in graphical format. We need to the read the data Plotly express that is used to make CSV data is a viewable one, that is the main thing for using Plotly, but in the Matplotlib it doesn't have that much analytic tools, features. After that we need to read the same CSV data in here. After reading the file we need to convert this file into a bar graph format. When convert into graph format we need to understand the data the fully. We are going to take two parameters x axis and y axis x axis as date and y axis as total cases.
After applying these parameters it will give the graphical of those parameters in this output we can easily find out which date has more numbers of death and we can easily predict the data of next in and also we need to classify the data as well. For example in the date of March 17th we can easily find out the total cases of Corona is recorded. After that we change the y-axis parameter to total deaths by coronavirus, it will show you a another analysis of the data and you can easily understand the data as well. Changing the parameters you will get different analysis of data and then you will understand more from this analytics.